here to church worship the Lord. Let me hear you worship a mighty God. Hallelujah. We are in his presence this morning. And though we may come with our different needs or different feelings, we have been given the opportunity to be in God's presence this morning. And I believe that it is a humbling opportunity. So let us just worship the Lord. Today, let me just take this opportunity to welcome each and everyone to our Sunday service, Youth Ministry Service. Today, under the theme, Be Still in Your Storm, The Victory is Sure. Be still in your storm, the victory is assured. Amen. However way you want to put that clause, but one thing is sure, the victory is sure. Is there anybody with a storm today? Amen. But we know the peace speaker today, and we know him by name. Amen. So as we come into God's presence today, let us not come and leave the way we came. But today I pray that the Lord will show up and he'll pour out his anointing upon us today. That hearts and souls will be blessed today. If it is even one person will cry out at the end of this service that indeed they were blessed. Thank you, Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes. We're going to be doing this one. Here we are in your presence. And we're going to do our family prayer. Hallelujah. Can we just change our positions? While we unite our hearts and our voices together. And we usher in the presence of the Holy Spirit today. We're going to fill this place with the atmosphere. Fill this place with God's presence. Saturate the atmosphere with the Holy Spirit today. Hallelujah. Here we are in your presence, lifting holy hands to you. Here we are, here we are.
you are high and lifted up this morning. There is none like you this morning. And so we exalt your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us all approach the seat of your Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. So during this time, we must. 
just pray, praise, and persevere. Amen. Hallelujah. Though we are tested and tried, the victory is sure. We know God's power through quietness and trust. Hallelujah. Let us just change our positions today. I'm sure if I should ask anybody, do you have a storm in your life today? All. If some of us, if not all of us, can identify a storm in our life. The storm can be financial storm. It can be sickness. It can be whatever it is. We know what that storm is, but we can identify that storm. We have been struggling with that storm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The woman with the issue of blood, that was her storm. But the victory at the end was sure. Hallelujah. And it is the same today. Our victory is assured. Hallelujah. Let us just be still in our storm today. And watch the peace speaker. The one that says, peace be still. Even winds and waves obey his voice today. Bless the name of Jesus. We're going to be doing this one. Be still and know that I am God.
inside here. Come on, just worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be asking anybody to worship God today. I'm not going to be asking anybody what God has done for you today. I'm not going to be asking if God has any ever come through for you. You know what God has done for you. So when we come into his presence, we should come with a heart of praise. With a heart of thanksgiving. We should come with our praises. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. We're just going to take this moment just to fill this place with praises. Right where you are, just start to worship the Lord. He inhabits our praises today. When the praises go up, then the blessings come down. Just out of your mouth, start to worship Almighty God. Let the enemy know that we are here today. Fill the atmosphere with our praises today. When we praise, God has no choice but to show up, to show up and to deliver. Lord, you are worthy today. I exalt your name today. We exalt your name today. The enemy wants to silence your people today. But we come with the spirit of worship. We come with the spirit of praise. Out from our bellies today, we worship you.
come against him this morning. Every spirit of doubt, we come against him this morning. And we unleash the spirit of praise in the name of Jesus. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence.
Isaiah 43, reading from verse 1 to 7, and we'll read it alternately. I'll begin. But now, thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by, the, by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and go through the earth, it shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall it claim anything upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been unworthy, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east, and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, to the up, and to the south, be not Bring my sons from far, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Seven and ending. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Here is a portion of God's holy word we honor by saying, Thanks be to God. Bless the name of the Lord. And I just want to look back at verse 2. When thou passest through the water, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the plague king upon thee. Bless the name of the Lord. And in this verse, God is telling the Jewish people that he will be with them in the most troubling time. Our, our theme is, be still in your storm. So whatever storm you're going through today, God is with you. He is with you to support you. He will give you strength and he will it will definitely make you be victorious. He will deliver you out of the danger that you are in. So today I just want to encourage you, my brethren, just to be still. Do not give up. Listen to me. In, in our world, in this world that we're living in, we have storm left, right, center, right? But guess what? We're not going to be, we're not going to be moved by this. As children of God, we are victorious. Amen. And we are not going to allow the devil to conquer us because we know that with God, all things are possible. The song says, be still and know that I am God. So listen to me, brethren. Just hold on in your storm. And your storm can be some simple things. Discouragement. You're coming to church this morning. Something happened. You're in church and somebody might say something to you right here. That is a storm. Yes, you may be sick. You might not have no money. Whatever your storm might be today, be still and know that God is God. And he will. He has taken me through many storms. And I know that he has taken you through many. And he will continue to take us through it. So let us just hold on to God because he will take us to our storm. Bless the, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to be doing this prayer frame. Come to my soul, blessed Jesus. Hear me, O Savior divine. Open the fountain and cleanse me with it. Lord, give me a heart like thine. Let us stand as we do this song. Hallelujah. And I'm going to be asking Sister Knight to do this prayer for us. Bless the name of the Lord.
I just want to give you the honor, mighty God. Thank you, Lord, unto your name. Lord, you're so worthy, Jesus. Lord, I lift you up this morning. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, I magnify your name this morning. For your name, God, is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Oh, God, this morning as we come in your presence, with nothing into our hands we bring, Lord, but as we come to you this morning, Lord God, with ourselves came before you this morning to receive of you today, Lord Jesus, another blessing. Father God, tell us in your word, when our praises go up, Lord God, to you, then, oh God, your blessings will come down unto us. And God, as we come to you this afternoon, Jesus, Lord God, dear Lord, we surrender our call and all into your hands. Dear Jesus, Father God, I pray and ask of you, Lord, that you will cover each and every one of us who stand here this oh God, afternoon, so yes, pray for me. Cover us under your blood, dear Jesus, as you tell us in your word, Lord, when I see the blood, I will ask over you. And today, God, dear Jesus, as I come to you, dear Father God, Lord Jesus, know that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we can ever ask, think or imagine. Today I pray Lord God that you will bless each and every one of us here today. We give you thanks dear Lord for all that have said and done already mighty God. For all that have gone forth here Jesus. I pray mighty God as we come with our cups turned up today to receive another blessing from you. I pray, I pray mighty God that the Holy Spirit at this time, Lord God, will take full control, yes, Lord. will lead us, will direct yes, us, Lord God, through this service. Mighty God, remember the one who stands to lead for us today. I pray, mighty God, that you will continue to strengthen, oh God, where Jesus heard. Lord God, the Lord, along with the thieves, dear God, I pray, God, that you will continue to strengthen them. Yes, Father God, bless each and every heart today. Yes, Lord. Lord, if there is one in our midst today, dear Jesus, we seek. Lord God, knowing that you are the healer, you are the deliverer. Oh God, I pray that you will touch today, mighty God. Touch today, Lord God, as we call upon you another time to the utmost, Father God. If there is one today who is weak, God, I pray for your strength. Mighty God, I pray today, Lord God, that you will have your own sweet way today, dear Jesus. Move, oh God, among us today as you have never moved before. Mighty God, for there is nothing, oh God, that we can do on our but as we empty ourselves today, dear Jesus, I pray, Heavenly Father, God, that you will fill us up, dear Jesus, oh God. Fill us up today, mighty God. I pray, mighty God, that you will have your own sweet way, Jesus. Bless each and every heart today. Remember those who did not make it to us, dear Lord. It is no distance in prayer. And I pray that you reach out your hands extended. Touch, heal, deliver, bless, dear God. Go unto your will, dear God, for your will must be done. Take the rest of the service into your hands, dear God. As we present each and every one into your hands another time, our ministering servant who will bring for the words. I pray, mighty God, dear Lord, that you will touch, O oh God, another time. Lord God, as the word go forth today, that it will go forth with power, with clarity, dear Jesus. That when we shall leave from here, we can say, Lord, it was good for us to be here. Have your own sweet way. Father God, as I humble ask, oh God, dear Jesus, and I just leave everything into your hands. And I ask it done in no other name, but in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Just to you and the telegrams. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shall we bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Shall we worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Let us sing that one together. Better days are coming. Better days are coming. Bye.
Better days are coming. Thank you, Sister Smith, for leading off for youth ministry's devotion today. Hallelujah. No wonder in Mark 39 says that he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen the sea when it is rough? Yes. Hallelujah. And you have seen the sea when there is a calm. Yes. So imagine them being on the boat. And that storm, that rage. Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord. And the master sleep. Can you imagine sleeping in a storm? It's the very same way when we have our storm. We have that peace. Hallelujah. And he asks, why are you so fearful? Amen. What a question. Yes. Because indeed, inevitably, there would be fear. Hallelujah. But the master of the sea was in the boat. Hallelujah. Yes. How is it that he have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, the word of God says. And said one to another, What man, what manner of man is this? That even the wind and the sea obey him. That's the same God that we serve today, brethren. The same God that says, Peace be still. And they have to obey. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What manner of man is this? That even winds and waves obey him. Hallelujah to your name. I'm going to be inviting the PR to come at this time while we just sing this little song. When he says peace be still they have to Thank you. 
so much for being our representative. Praise the Lord. It's time. It's time to honor the Lord with our offering. Let us put our hands together while we, while we do this song. In the rock I'll hide. In the shadow I will abide. While we give our tithes and our offering. Yes, sir. 
worship the Lord while he's coming. Right now it seems there's no way out. 
shows just how you are hurting. But he has proven times and times and times and times again that he will fix it for you. You may not know how. And believe me, many times we don't know how. You may not know when. But one thing is for sure is that he will do it again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, I want to be invited for our pastor to the microphone to speak to us the undiluted word. The word that is already blessed. Hallelujah. The word that is already anointed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a menu for every situation. Hallelujah. So as we preach the word today without fear or favor, may we turn up our hearts, empty ourselves while he deposits in our spirit today. Let us put our hands together while we make welcome our pastor. Hallelujah. Let's talk today. We must have a time for our pastor. Pastor, Lord, for us. We pray for the Holy Spirit. Bless the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise Sir. the Lord. Shall we exalt his name another time? Praise the Lord. Shall we lift him up another time? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Today it is a great privilege to be in the presence of the Lord. Lifting him up, glorifying his holy and his matchless name. It's good to see all of us that are here this morning, but we also take note that there are some who are not here. And we, before I go into the word, just want to present them before the Lord. Hallelujah. Just stand with me, church. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, our great God and our King, today, Lord, we come before you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We honor your name. We thank you, mighty God, that you are still God in all our circumstances. We thank you, Lord, that you never change. We thank you, Lord, that your power is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so, Lord, when we come to you, we understand who we are talking to. We understand, Lord, that you know all our hurts and our pain. Nothing is hid from you, mighty God. Lord, there are some of your servants that is not in your house today. Not because they want to be home, but Lord, because of circumstances. Lord, we present them into your care today, mighty God. The one who sits in heaven and is touched with the feeling of our infirmities. The one Lord who was crucified and by your stripes we are here. We present our deacon before you today Lord. Martin O'Pommels by name. We pray Father in heaven that you will visit him right now where he is. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord God is one who desires to serve you wholeheartedly. And we understand, Lord, that the enemy will want to step in and prevent your people from worshiping you, Lord. But we pray, mighty God, that you will hold him in the hollow palm of your hands. We present Brother Buckley before you, Lord. I present my family before you. Oh God, I present, oh God, all those that are sick at this moment into your hands. Mighty God, that you will visit them, oh God, and you will touch them from the crown of their heads unto the sole of their feet. Father in heaven, there is no distance in prayer. There is power in prayer, mighty God. And so we summon heaven today. Oh God, we call upon the healing angels today. Oh God, that they will be dispatched in every home, at every bedside, in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will touch and set free. Lord, we believe you today. We trust you for a miracle. We trust you for a miracle, mighty God. You're a miracle working God. Yes, Lord, and so we trust you today. Lord, that when we leave your house, or before we leave your house, we will get news, oh God, of your healing power. Victory in Jesus today. My Savior forever. I thank you, Lord, in advance. I thank you, Lord, and the church is in agreement today. As we give you thanks, we give you glory, and we give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. You may be seated. We are here today on a, a theme, Be Calm in the Storm. There's another part to it that says that victory is assured in Christ. Amen. In St. Luke chapter 8, in verse 22 to 25, we read of an account where Jesus was in a boat and a storm arose. It says in verse 22 that now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples and he said unto them let us go over unto the other side of the lake and they launched forth but as they sailed he fell asleep. And there came a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. They were in danger. And they called him and awoke him Say, Master, Master, we perish. And then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased. And there was a calm. Let me hear somebody says, There is a calm in the midst of the storm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? 
And they being afraid wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commanded even the winds and the waters, and they obeyed him. Here in a portion of God's holy word. Does Jesus care? Oh yes, he cares. I know that he cares. But although I know he cares, or we know that he cares, there is the question that we always ask. Does he remember me when I'm going through my troubles? Does he know what I am faced with? I'm here this morning to remind you that he knows your fears. He knows your troubles. He understands every little bit of heartaches and pain. And he knows before it even happens. Jesus, in the account in St. Luke chapter 8, was coming off a hectic day's work. Because when we look in the earlier chapter of that same chapter, in the earlier verses, we saw where Jesus was preaching to some people. He was in a village preaching in verse 1 and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve disciples whom he chose they were there with him. And I know what it is sometimes to preach. And when you're done, the physical man is weak. The physical man has lost substance. And there is need for you to rest. Amen. Glory be to God. But after Jesus had finished preaching, and he spake the word and he said that some will fall on the wayside and some will fall upon rocks and some will fall among thorns and some among good grounds. He was tired. And so, praise God, the Bible tells us that it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples and although he was tired there was still another mission for him to accomplish on the other side and he gave the command to his disciples and he says in verse 22 let us go over unto the other side and they launched forth they went forth praise God into the boat but as they sailed the human part came into play he was tired and so he fell asleep he was sleeping in the boat. Praise God. Nothing seems to be happening at that time. There was peace. There was calmness. And as far as the disciples were concerned, there was nothing to worry about. And I believe in their minds, glory be to God, that some of them 
knew how to sell. They were experienced as they went along. But suddenly, there was something that they did not expect would happen. The Bible tells us that there came down a storm of wind on the lake. It's not like in our time where the meteorological center could send a warning out and to say, look out for a storm is coming. They were struck in the lake suddenly by the storm. And the Bible tells us that the storm was so sudden, the waters were raging, the wind was terrible, and it was blowing, and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. They became in a dangerous situation. They became fearful. And these were experienced men who knew how to sail. But when the storm arose, they became fearful. So what this tells me, it wasn't no natural storm. It was a dangerous storm. And they became fearful. From this passage, I want to assure you that Jesus does know and care about what will happen to his people. A Christian life will never be without storms. A Christian will never have smooth sailing. There will always be storms on every side. Hallelujah. I want you to hear what I'm saying this morning. But though the storms may surround you, amen, in the middle of the storm, there is a place of safety. In the middle of the storm, there is a place of calmness. Oh, praise God. In the middle of the storm, when the swirling winds are going around, in the middle of the storm, Jesus is there. Amen. And when Jesus called his disciples, Praise God, he warned them of the troubles that would befall them as Christians. He asked them to take up the cross and to follow him. Amen. We are on a journey. We are in a lake. We are in a boat. We are in the church. And it doesn't mean that we are immune from storms. Storm clouds will rise. But Jesus is there. Amen, Amen church. Amen. So nobody told us that the road is going to be easy. But I know that Jesus has brought me this far. And he will not leave me. He will be there with me through the storms. And there are some times when he becomes silent in my storm. But I need to know that Jesus is there. And so he warned his disciples that troubles would befall them. He asked them to take up the cross and to follow him. And he promises that he will be there with you. Amen. Let us remember, church, that it was Jesus who gave the command in St. Luke 8. He said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Amen, church. Jesus has called us and he will be there with us every step of the way. And this day, 
Jesus woke up early in the morning. And why did Jesus have to cross this lake? Because on the other side, there was need for him. Yes. There, as the Bible tells us, was a man who was possessed with legions of demons. Amen. Six thousand demons in the, in, in the path was there waiting on him. So there was a need for him to cross over on the other side. And so as he went, he gave the command and he says, let us go over on the other side. And they launched forth. A Christian is a disciple who is ruled by God, who follows Christ as he gives the command. We are called to come into his kingdom. We are in his kingdom as we are called. Praise God and we will not escape the storms that are there awaiting us. But he will be with us through the storms, through the fire, he will be there. Through the floods, he will be there. Through deep waters, he will be there. And so when Jesus says, let us go, then we need to obey and go with him. Amen. And if Jesus goes with you, I will go anywhere. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know my Lord will take care of me. So Jesus, he fell asleep in the boat because he was humanly tired. Amen, church. And as he fell asleep, a great storm arose. And the boat starts to be filled with water. And we know when water starts to get into the boat, it's going to get heavy. And the, 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 the disciples, they were in jeopardy. They thought they were in danger. They thought they were going to sink. They thought they were going to die. And so there was a need for them to cry out. Amen. And so they remembered that the Lord was on board with them. And they begin to wonder to themselves how comes the Lord is asleep in the midst of the storm? Doesn't he hear the commotion that is taking place in the boat? Doesn't he hear the worries? Doesn't he hear the concerns? Doesn't he see that the boat is about to sink? But yet he and so they saw the need. Amen. Oh, if there's somebody today who has a need, Jesus knows your need, but you still need to make it known to him. And so the disciples cry out. And they say, Master, Master. Amen, amen. And they came to him and they awoke him saying, Master, Master, we perish. They were steering death in the eye. They were steering no way of escape out of this storm. And they cried out to the Lord. And they said, Master, Master, we perish. Oh, hallelujah. Is there somebody today who feel like you're going down? Don't give up hope because the Master is on board. The Master is in the ship. The Master is in the church. The Master is everywhere. He's in your heart. And he knows what to do. The Bible tells me that he arose. He was not a deep sleeper. 
He arose and he rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. Amen. Here is somebody who has total control, total authority. Praise God that even the wind and the waves obey him by just uttering one word, peace. Amen. It doesn't matter what you're going through. There is a peace that passes all understanding. And though you're going through your storms, through your distress, through your downfalls, remember that Jesus cares and he is on board and he's speaking in your life. So he said, peace. Be still. Oh, hallelujah. He arose, he rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased and there was a calm. What a God we serve, church. Amen. David says, though the heat and rage, amen, though the mountains be removed in the midst of the sea, amen, Jesus is there with us. Amen. Hallelujah. And though the storm clouds may rage, God is there with us. Don't give up hope. Don't give in. Don't jump out the board. Stay on the ship. Because victory is assured in Jesus Christ. There's no other escape for you. All you need to do is to call on the master because the master cares. Amen. Yes. Yes. Um, some writer says, my faith looks up to thee, O Lamb of Calvary, O Savior, divine. I look to you, Lord, when everything else fails, when my experience can't take me to that land. You can do it, Lord. When my experience can take me over on the other side, then you can do it, Lord. And if nobody else can, I know you can do it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And so Jesus awoke and he rebuked the wind. And the raging water. This was a terrible storm, church. Amen. And if at that time they had what to measure the wind speed, maybe it could very well be over category five or more. But they never had what they the equipment to do it. But it is clear and vivid to us that it was a terrible storm because experienced men became fearful. And so they cried out to the master. They thought they were going to die. And he woke from his sleep and he rebuked the wind and the raging water. Praise God. And they ceased immediately. Amen. Hallelujah. It's just by speaking the word there was a calm there was cease praise God and he said unto them where is your faith amen and they begin to marvel they wondered amongst themselves sometimes we are walking with Jesus and we have not yet fully experienced him or fully understand him or fully know what he can do, or fully know who he is. And so they wondered, saying one to another, what manner of man is this? Amen, I praise God. I hear God said to Job, where were you when I was stretching the span and I was putting the earth together? This was the same God that was on the boat with the disciples. Amen. It was the God that was from the beginning. 
As John puts it, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory of the only begotten Son of God, full of grace, full of truth, that same God was on boat with the disciples, and He was riding with them to their stars. I want to remind us today, church, that we are going to our stars. His power never changes. His power remains the same, and He is with us every step of the way. And so ride out your storms, for God is there with you. You may not see him, but he's right there on time. And there is no storm that is too great for him. There is no wind that is too much for him. There is no water that can wash him away, my brothers and sisters. I want to say to you today that this Jesus, he controls the universe. And so, as we walk with him, let us understand who he is and what he can do. Praise God and what he has done for others. He's well able and he's capable to do it for you, Brother Robert, for you, Sister Sophia, for you, Sister Malcolm, for you, Sister Barrett, for you, Sister Knight, Brother Knight, and all of you that is sitting before me today. My God is able to carry me through. He's able. I know he is able. And so ride out. Ride out. Ride out. Say to somebody today, ride out your storm. Ride out your storm. In the midst of the storm, there is peace. Hallelujah. And so they wondered what manner of man is this for his speak? He never do nothing else more than just speak. He gave the command, Hallelujah! Oh, glory be to God! He speak. He commanded even the wind and the waves obeyed him. Understand who is it? It was this same God who says, "Let there be." And there was. It was this God who separated the darkness from the light. It was this God, praise God, who brought the waters and separated them from the land. So he still has that command within him. And he spake and he says, Peace be still. Whatever you're going through today, Hallelujah. I want to speak into your life. I want to speak the undiluted word of God. I declare today that peace be still in your life. Believe God, church. He asked the question, where is your faith? We need faith to believe because he has already done his part. So let us believe him and believe that he can do what he says he will do. Hallelujah. There was a cry of the disciples in their trouble. Yes, they cried out in their trouble. If you're in trouble, don't be afraid to call to God. Call to him. He will hear. And he will answer. Know that the disciples were in trouble. And they never depended on their own experience.
experience to go over the boat, over the lake. Because they thought they were in danger. And they never want to die. And so they cried out. And that's what we must do when we are going through our storms. Cry out to God. Cry out. Cry out the more. And he will hear us. Hallelujah. There was this man that was blind. And he heard that Jesus was passing by. He could see him with his own eyes. But he heard that he was passing by. And the crowd was loud. Praise God. But you know the man shouted because he had a need. And so he cried out the more. Until Jesus heard him. So when you cry out, Jesus will hear. And he will come and he will minister to your need. And so the disciples cried out, Church, we are not going to perish. I think that boat on that lake represents the church that we are in today. And that Christ is the Lord of the creation and the upholder of all things. How can we go down? No, we can't go down as long as God is in the ship. The church cannot perish because he is the builder of the church. He says that upon this rock that he will build his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He is the foundation of the church. He is the chief cornerstone, the stone that the builders rejected. Jesus Christ becomes the chief cornerstone. And it's upon this rock that we dwell. It's upon this rock that we find refuge. It's upon this rock that we find strength. It's upon this rock that we find healing. It's upon this rock that every situation can be met this morning. And so let us walk with him. And let us cry out to him because he's someone who is in control of even the wind and the waves. And so they cry out but Jesus rose and he commanded the wind and the waves to be still. Anybody else in history has ever done this? You have ever heard of anybody else who have spoken to the waters and it stopped? You have ever heard of anyone else in history who have spoken to the wind and it stopped? No. Jesus alone has such power. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Paul shipwrecked many times on the seas. And Paul was one of them who wrote the entire, almost the entire New Testament. But he couldn't speak to the waters. Many times he had to sleep out the sea because he was shipwrecked. Ship, shipwrecked. Oh, hallelujah. But the sovereign Lord who controls everything, he gave the command, he spake, and it was done. So let us trust in him. Because when we trust in him, there is always going to be a calm. And so, and those of us who understand how the storm works, when we look on the on the maps, when a hurricane threatens us, it's a swirling wind, yes. and it goes round and round and round. But in the midst of it, it's calm. It's calm. And that's where we need to get in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry about nothing. And though the storm clouds may rage high. All the and the dark clouds may rise. In the midst. Get in the midst of the storm. Because 
here is a car. Jesus cares yes. for all of us. Yes, yes. And he knows every situation. Thank you, Lord. I have my storms. And I'm going through my storms. I'm not giving up in my storms. Because I must get over on the other side. You have your storms. And you must ride out your storms. My storms may not be your storms. Your storms may not be my storms. Because God knows what you can bear. Hallelujah. But one thing for sure, He is there with you in your storm. Amen. So lift your faith to Him and trust in Him. Praise God. Because before Abraham, He says, Was I? Because I am the I am. That's what Jesus says before Abraham was. I am. Trust him. He was there from the beginning. Praise God. He knows every script that is written. Praise God. He knows everything that will come your way. Praise God. But he also made that way of escape. God bless you this morning. Trust him in every situation. Praise God. And if you can help somebody to go through their storms, that would be good too. May God bless you. May God keep you. Praise God. May his face shine upon you. And may he give you peace in your star. God bless you. I'm going to be asking Sister Anderson. 
you to do this prayer for us. here today and you need prayer. That's what the altar is for. Amen. You know your situation. You know your needs. You know what circumstances you're being faced with. Hallelujah. If you're sick and you're in need of prayer, then at the end you come. Hallelujah. May we not just stand.
again and trust the sweetest frame, but holy lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand. Most holy, righteous, loving Father, the kind shepherd of the sheep, the good shepherd who give it a life for the sheep. We approach the mercy seat at this time where you hear an answer's prayer. Because we come before you, we find out that you are our Savior. And so today, Lord God, we come because we need shelter. Lord, we are going through a time of storm. And we are glad today that you are the master of this storm. And no matter how tempestuous the storm is raging today, then the Father, you can calm it. And so we commit ourselves into your hands. Lord God, we thank you for everything that has been said today. Thank we thank you for your servant, O oh God, that has brought forth your words. We thank you, Lord God, for giving him the words that he should give unto us today. And so today, as we feast upon your words, Lord, help us that we we'll meditate upon your words. Help us, Lord God, not to forget your words. But, oh God, we pray that you will help us to write them upon the tables of our hearts. And Lord, when we are going to show us how we will have them as a comfort and as a guide. We pray, God, that you will be with us continually. Heavenly Father, your children is before you. You know that we're going to have the altar today by name. Lord Jesus, you know the different storms that they may be facing at this time. But Heavenly Father, you read the heart because you search us and you know. You know that we don't set in another hour uprising. And you understand it's our thoughts of our all. You know everything about them at this time. And so, Lord God, I pray that we we'll walk through the altar. Oh God, and they will touch each one individually. Mighty God, you will supply everyone need. Heavenly Father, as you promise according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And if there is any sick on the altar of this time, mighty God, you who can calm every storm and heal every sicknesses and diseases, today I place them into your hand. Mighty God, reach out your name, Prince, and touch Heavenly Father and set your children free. Lord God, we pray for those that are sitting down. Mighty God, we pray that you walk through the benches. Oh God, and touch your children. Mighty God, we look to you. Because all of the ground is sinking, son. But on you with the solid rock we stand today. And Lord, we rest assured that you are able to carry us through. And so today, Heavenly Father, we hide in you. When the storms of life are raging over us, Lord, we pray that you will stand by us and help us, Lord, to have no fear, for we know that none on earth can harm us. Oh God, we are shelter in your arms. Those that are listening today, Heavenly Father, we pray that you will reach out and touch your children, many are at home. Oh God, would love to be here today, but cannot make it because of sicknesses. Your storms are sickness, and whatever it is, mighty God, you are the healer. Mighty God, we pray that you will touch your children. We pray that you will give them a comforting words. Lord God, we pray that you will help them to look to you. As you write, said, my faith, look up to thee. The Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. We pray for healing. We pray for deliverance. Mighty God, have your own sweet way today. Heavenly Father, we pray that we continue to bless and keep us, Lord, and help us, my God, never to look back from whence we came. But, Lord, we press onward toward the mark of a high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Remember the youths today, Heavenly Father. We pray, God, that we draw them close to you. Help them, Lord, not to lean on their own understanding, but tell them, Lord, that in all their ways they will acknowledge you. And, Lord, we know you will direct their path. In going out, God, God, we pray that you will be with them and in their coming in when they are at school, oh God, wherever they are on the road, we pray that you will carry them safely, keep them from arms and danger. We are living in a troubled time, a world which is full of hatred and violence. Lord God, we are living in an unfriendly world. But today, Lord Jesus, we place everyone into your hands. 
Many are grieving today at the loss of their loved ones. But mighty God, you are the comforter. We pray that you comfort the children's hearts and give peace of mind to your children. Guide us as we go, my God. Prepare and paralyze of every plan of the enemy. And help us to continue to lean upon you for the solid rock. We are all oh God, we know that the world cannot do us any harm because we are safe and secure. Thank you, Lord, for hearing. Thank you for answering. As we continue to look to you in your mighty name, we pray and say thanks. Amen.